Hey, I'm Pastor John, and I want to thank you for taking a couple minutes out of your time to allow me to share with you. I want to ask you a question. How is your love life? Now, I am sure that question can conjure up different thoughts and potential responses, but bear with me for just a minute or two. You see, in the Bible, specifically in the New Testament, the relationship between Jesus Christ and the believers, or his church, is often compared to a marriage relationship, a relationship in which the church, or believers, represents the bride, and Jesus Christ represents the groom. In Revelations 2, we see an example of this love or this marriage-like relationship between God and his church when the Apostle John delivers God's message to the believers at Ephesus. And he begins by saying in verses 3 through 5, he says, You have endured and gone through hard times because of me, yet you have not given up. Now I want to pause there at verse 3 for just a minute because for those of you who are married, you understand that when you made that commitment to your spouse, you have probably gone through some hard times, or if it's been recent, you're going to go through some hard times. That's just a fact of life. But God doesn't stop there with his message to the believers. And he continues in verse 4, and he says, But I do have something against you, and it is this. You don't have as much love as you used to. In other words, he's saying, you've lost that loving feeling, or you really don't love me anymore, as some of the songs might say. But the good news is that God didn't stop by simply pointing out their shortcomings. And the Holy Spirit doesn't stop with simply convicting you and I when we fall short. Often the time, he gives us solutions. And we find that solution in verse 5 where it says, Think about where you have fallen from and turn back and do as you did at first. Now Kyle Eidelman in his marriage study, The Song, gives three suggestions about how you can apply these verses to your relationship with God as well as your marriage. He first says, one, repent. remember the way things were. Remember the past experiences you've had with God, maybe when you first accepted Christ as your Savior. Or remember the past experiences you've had with your spouse. Look back on those photos. Look back on those videos. Look back on those moments and remember the good times. Remember the love that you had. Second, he says, repent and turn around or change directions if by chance you've neglected your relationship with God or, or even with your spouse, then change the direction you're going, say you're sorry, and take the necessary steps to make amends. And third, he suggests, do the things you did at first. Now, if you're married, you can probably look back at times when you tried to win your spouse's heart and affection where you would ask her out or you might give her a gift just because or you do something kind for him or her, or simply block off time to spend together. But you can do that same thing with God. What about talking to him more in prayer, or taking time more to learn about him through his word, or worshiping him through private or public worship, or just going public with your relationship with him? How often are we encouraged in our relationship when that loved one of ours makes it publicly known to others that we are in a relationship or a marriage with them. You see, there are a lot of similarities between the marriage relationship and our relationship with Jesus Christ. And as I posed that question to you earlier, how is your love life? I hope you'll take a minute to think about that. Or better yet, if it's not where it needs to be, take an action step or two to d demonstrate your love for God and or your spouse. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, I hope you will share it with others, or if you just want to simply like it or make a comment below, we'd love to hear your response. But again, thank you for your time. May God bless you.